I got that energy, that energy, that energy, that energy, that energy, that energy. Like what the heck is got into me? That energy, that energy, that energy, that energy, that energy, that energy. Like what the heck is got into me? I got battle wounds, I've been scarred. I've been knocked down, I've seen stars. I've been talked about, I've been lost. I've been bossed around and got tossed. Come out the lost and found. You hear us now? You, you guys are frozen, or are you guys messing with us? Understand <laughs> 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 your P's and Q's, because if not, we're going to get you. Understand <laughs> your P's and Q's, because if not, we're going to get you. Understand <laughs> your P's and Q's, because if not, we're going to get you. <laughs> <laughs> take it back to the beginning like how you guys met you know if you guys could share maybe from your point of view how that happened the first time you know you know you guys laid eyes on each other <laughs> how, how that went <laughs> and that was all you guys laid, laid, laid on each other right just the eyes you know? only eyes <laughs> yeah. six months only eyes right right we started finding each other like we weren't close close but we would find each other at the gym but i, I have to believe that we had like a lot of like similar things in our life going I'm not going out but just that in our past and you know sometimes she would ask me like weird questions like uh, the best one was when she was like what is, what is wrong to strong and I was like that's me fool like me I'm wrong and then I went strong and she's like no it just doesn't seem right <laughs> and she would like get under my skin you know because like Deep down inside, I knew I was like questioning some stuff about myself, you know, and, and everything, what I was doing, and because I was pretty much like living a lie. It, it seems like back then you already like had like a like a vision, yes. like a, bigger than than what he did. Oh, and, yeah. and I'm like, it, 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 can I ask you this, JC? When she was telling you, did, did you have that in mind, like, and going to prisons, like she mentioned, like basically uh, making it more than just the, the workout or the strength physically? Honestly, like, uh, honestly, bro, if I'm a, we're going to be completely honest, like, I was in there for the girls, the money, and the fame. Uh, I Right when it happened, those are the things that I noticed. He just, he wasn't angry anymore. And it's not to say that I didn't get him angry at times because of the jealousy, but he wasn't angry at the world anymore. And he was talking now in a more calm way. JC, um, fast forward to your relationship once you had had that moment with the Lord and you knelt down before Him. And as He was changing your heart, at what point did you start loving Bethany with the love of Christ? When I um, when I started, you know, at the beginning I was trying to like read books about marriage and, but you know, uh, Christian books. Like I was trying to. I was trying to search everywhere else, and, and John was like, just stick to the basics, stick to the Bible, <laughs> stick to the Bible. So I started kind of like praying about it and asking God to like guide me and, and my heart. And like, I really took serious, I take really serious my, my prayer in the morning, my devotion and reading it, because it's where I ask God to help me with all my imperfections. It's where I really, really like sit there and I just, I keep it real now. I, I tell him, you know that the things that I have in my heart, like help me, remove them from me, like because I can't do it. I can't do it on my own. And the more I prayed, the more he started showing me how, how to love Bethany and, and have uh, empathy because I didn't have none. I didn't know what that even was. Um, sometimes she would get sick and I would get mad because she would get sick, you know, and. Uh, I started caring for her more. She she sometimes couldn't get out of bed and, and she would be itchy. As soon as I got up, I would eat and then like, but he can't wait for me to get up. He's waiting on the stairs for me to open the bedroom door. And as soon as I open it, he's like, ah, and he starts talking and I'm like, oh See, you know, you know, um, um, I, I don't know.
love my wife so much that like uh, I I wait for her on the stairs for her to wake up and then like uh, and I'm like why don't you come in the room <laughs> I'm right there <laughs> but I, I wait on the stairs and I just I I've learned to to be more you know patient and be more like uh, so I I wait now and I I let her do her things and I pray and stuff like that but it's it's just it's, I, I felt like I, I was cheated my whole life and like like now that I get to enjoy like her, her, our relationship like um, our time at home like I, it's like a new drug to me so it's like uh, 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 the joy like I, I when I sit on the stairs like I'm, I'm like a little kid and I'm like Man, she's taking long to me. And I start texting her, hey, I love you. <laughs> and, it's like, and I want her to get up. It's, it's just something new to me that, like, the Lord is... I feel like it's such a blessing. Um, I, I just can't even explain it. I, I, I just want to tell you, uh, like, I met her in uh, June of 2000. So we've been... We've known each other for 22 years, married, I think, 17 years. And honestly, like, some of the videos you've made, uh, even some of the texts that you've sent out about marriage has really challenged me, like in my marriage, in the way I view and, and treat my wife. Uh, you, you mentioned something about when your wife uh, got sick and, and used to get angry. Honestly, like even up to recently, I would be like that, that way. And man, I had to like, uh, I heard some of your, your messages uh, about the way you should, you should be uh, like treating your wife, the way you should be, you know, just the way uh, to esteem her. I, I was really like uh, convicted and I feel just recently that like, God's given me like honestly working in my heart as far as like being more tender more compassionate like towards my wife so God's definitely been using you like to, to bring conviction like to the way I, that, I, that I even uh, treat my own wife and I, I, I've seen the change I don't know yeah, I, I, you notice, I, <laughs> when you said that, when you said that, when you said oh she gets upset, you know, um, I was like, you know, I was thinking about that because he, you know, he he would get upset when I get sick, and I'm like, man, I feel like I can't even get sick. I feel like I can't even, you know, and and I would feel a certain way, and I would communicate it that to him, but he wasn't grasping it he wasn't understanding it at that time and so when jc you know these messages that you're sending them keep sending them though yeah. <laughs> keep sending them no, it's like, now, now I, under, I understand now like the whole concept like it, it's a lot more spiritual than we realize and and, and that's why like uh, people need to understand and really really comprehend because like he tries he tries to split you up. Like the enemy tries to make two out of the one, you know? And all those ideas, all those things, like she used to, she's been like, she's been a big mentor in my life. Not only my friend, but a mentor also. And she would always tell me, think about. I chose the life I'm living. I heard trapping in it.